Right, hello you gorgeous people. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, not Dr. Tamara. I am certainly not a doctor. I am just here telling you everything they should be. Now, one thing that's been going around for, the, for years actually, since I had my child, was this cry it out method. I just really want to quickly touch on this. If you are leaving your child to cry it out, you need a kick in your big vagina, okay? No one should be left to cry ever. Imagine now, like I see the cameraman crying and I'm just like, it's all right, carry on filming, fuck him, let him cry it out. That's psychotic behavior. He clearly needs a hug, he clearly needs some flipping help. Now, that as an adult would be a lot to take on. If he was sat there crying, and he's like, why is Tamara ignoring me? Why? That's a lot to process as an adult. Now imagine being a tiny child. You've just got to this world and the one person who's supposed to look after you is like, you just lay over there and fucking cry. No, it's psychotic behavior. It's one thing I don't agree with. And it's one thing I'm really firm on. There's not many things I feel passionately about, but this cry out thing, whoever invented it, like I said, needs a kick in the vagina. Not okay and you shouldn't be doing it. And let me tell you one of the reasons why I've never done it. I like to research everything. When you are left to cry a lot as a baby, you produce, um, a lot of cortisol. Now, what they found in the brains of psychopaths and serial killers, like in their later on in life, was a buildup of this cortisol. Basically what you're doing when you're letting your child cry out is potentially creating a mini psychopath. I personally don't have time for that, so I've never let any of my children cry. And let me tell you something, I've always held my children. I've never even let them have a whimper and I've co-slept with every single one of them until they were ready to get out of my bed. And every single person, especially the older people, the nans, the grandmas, oh, you're drawing a rod for your own back there. Oh, you're drawing a, what, by looking after my child? How long is this child really gonna need me that deeply and intensely? Three years at the most. And then trust me, they, they couldn't even care where you were, all right? Such a small space of time you get given to look after your child that, if you can't do it properly, I don't even know why you're having the child. I really flipping don't. So please do not leave your child to cry. And like I said, I've held all my children and everybody said, oh, it's gonna make, make them cling to you. It's gonna mean they'll never leave you. I can tell you now, every single one of my children is the most happiest, confident children, confident child you're ever gonna meet that don't care where I am. Not in a horrible way, but they no longer need me because I've created such a stable and safe environment for them in the beginning time that they feel safe. They genuinely feel like safe children. If you don't create that safety, how are they supposed to actually grow and be able to feel safe? And I will say as well with the co-sleeping thing, because that was another thing everybody said to me, oh, they're never gonna get out of your bed. Who sleeps in an empty bed now? Me, because they're all out of my bed, because they all took themselves out of my bed into their own room when they were ready. All of them by the age of about two and a half, three. Kale's just gone into his own room now. Honestly, it's such a small time you get to be their parent and such a small time when they are small. And so much goes on. You know, in the ages of, I'm gonna make another video about this, but from the ages of naught to six, you're bas basically in a theta state of mind, which is when you're in the suggestive state. This is where they hypnotize you and stuff, all right? So you're taking on all your beliefs. Everything is being formed in that time. And in that time, do you really think it would be wise to not be feeling safe and to be feeling insecure and just, I, I don't know. I really think it's important that those first years you do everything you can to make them feel safe and secure. I can promise you right now, you are not drawing a rod for your own back. You are not creating needy children who are never gonna leave your side. You are creating strong, happy, confident individuals. All right, I promise you. Anyway, let me know how you keep your child happy and confident below. Let me know if you've ever tried the crying it out thing as well, because maybe you've been given advice to and let me know how that went. Because I think there's a lot, we get this advice from these books and stuff. And then we think we should be following it, but instinctively we know it's wrong. All right, follow your instincts. If you've been doing the crying out thing and you're feeling like shit because you know you shouldn't be leaving your baby, go and pick them up. Like I said, it's a very small period of time. Those kids are small, you don't get it back. My 17 year old couldn't care less where I am right now. And he certainly doesn't want to sit on my lap and hug me, okay? I'm telling you, this doesn't last for long, please. Please enjoy it and embrace it while you can. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more of these waffles and I will see you for my next video.